2024 Aston Martin Valhalla. The 2024 Aston Martin Valhalla will be a mid-engine hypercar with a hybrid powertrain in the vein of the Ferrari SF90. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. The Aston's exterior boasts an exaggerated version of the company's grille along with slippery bodywork and a carbon fiber engine cover. Carbon fiber also makes up its central tub, and the Valhalla's exotic nature will be further accentuated by its dihedral doors. Power comes from a twin-turbo V8 and a plug-in hybrid system that together generates 937 horsepower. Aston estimates a top speed of 217 miles per hour and a 2.5 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time. The 2022 Valhalla will also have an EV mode, albeit with a very short all-electric range. After changes at Aston Martin that include a new CEO in the form of Tobias Mower, who was previously the head of Mercedes AMG. The Valhalla will be much different than the version that was previously teased as the 3 and briefly codenamed AMRB3. While there's still much we have to learn, the actual version will have an AMG sourced engine and a 6 digit price tag instead of a 7 digit one. It also won't start being delivered to customers until the second half of 2023, likely making it a 2024 model. Aston Martin will build no more than 999 Valhallas, and each will cost about $800,000. We're still hopeful Aston will make an open-top version, too. Not that we could afford it. Engine, transmission, and performance. The Valhalla will feature a powerful plug-in hybrid powertrain. At its core will be a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 with an exotic flat-plane crank design that's sourced from Mercedes-AMG. It'll feed the rear wheels through an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Additionally, an electric motor will power the front wheels and another will be integrated into the transmission. The Valhalla's combined output is said to be 937 horsepower. Its electrically assisted gearbox will also have an electric reverse as well as an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential. To save weight, the company will use carbon fiber for the car's structure. It'll also feature adaptive dampers and two-stage springs that can be adjusted for an ultra-low track mode. Plus, carbon ceramic brakes will be standard. We can only assume the Valhalla's eye-popping design will be complemented by out-of-this-world handling infotainment and connectivity. All that we know about the Valhalla's infotainment system is that it'll support Aston's upcoming user interface, which will be the first to feature a touchscreen. Of course, we also expect it to offer desirable software such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Likewise, built-in navigation and a powerful audio system should be available. Aston Martin Valhalla exterior and colors. With its mid-engine layout and an intense focus on creating as much downforce as possible, the Aston Martin Valhalla's exterior design is unashamedly that of a true exotic. It has a low, broad stance and an especially wide interpretation of the brand's traditional slatted grille. Full LED matrix headlights are said to deliver superb illumination, although the front-end view is perhaps not the car's prettiest. Forward hinged dihedral doors are one of the design's highlights, and there are cutouts in the roof to make ingress and egress easier. On the roof itself is a scoop that feeds the V8 with air, in addition to more side and rear intakes. All in all, the manufacturer claims that the new Aston Martin Valhalla Coupe's active aerodynamics produces 1,323 pounds of downforce. The rear end is sinister with its integrated spoiler, enormous diffuser, and individual taillight blocks. The exhaust system's tailpipes are top-mounted and should emit a distinctive noise from the flat-plane crank V8. Large wheels have been seen wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. The Aston Martin Valhalla's colors are unknown, but it's finished here in a striking green and black combination. Safety and driver assistance features. The Valhalla will have a host of driver assists that are commonly seen on less extreme machines. While it'll also feature conventional side mirrors, they'll be supplemented by a camera-based rearview display inside the cabin. For more information about the Valhalla's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety websites. Key safety features include available automated emergency braking, available adaptive cruise control, available blind spot monitoring. As more information becomes available, we'll update this story with more details about fuel economy and real-world MPG, interior, comfort, and cargo, warranty and maintenance coverage. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more videos.